when going out in several Latin American cities, it is common to see athletic shoes, football team shirts, and sweatpants. Not that Latin Americans are significantly increasing their exercise habits, but these garments are increasingly used as everyday clothing. From uh, 2007 to date, there has been a general increase in sales of sportswear. Much of this performance is due to the international prestige of brands like Adidas and Nike, which are recognized by the vast majority of consumers. But another good part of these results is due to successful athletes in the region. As they achieve great results internationally, their media exposure increases dramatically, which also achieves increased brand recognition of the brands that sponsor the team. This is the case of Argentina Lionel Messi and the Chilean Alexis Sanchez, who play for FC Barcelona, and the Colombian Radamel Falcao, signed for Atletico de Madrid. For example, Alexis Sanchez in Chile, although he's been a face of Nike since uh, 2009, since being signed for FC Barcelona, his contract with the company has increased by 400%, uh, making it one of the biggest bets of the US company in the region. Nike's strategy is to create value by merging the athlete's attributes with those of the brand. This sounds much heard about if not by the fact that the success of these athletes is also the success of the less privileged social class, representing the struggle for social advancement achieved to professional football. Success in adversity, prestige among peers, the yes we can, a part of society that has been excluded from the benefits of economic development. This is, the, this is then successfully coupled with Nike's classic values, such as high performance, sophistication, and technology applied to sports. In Venezuela, Adidas launched a popular ad campaign that focuses on the public's new passion for soccer and the Venezuelan national team. Venezuelans love the ad because it stirs pride for Venezuela. Brazil, who will host the FIFA World Cup in 2014, and the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro 2016, is attracting more investment for, from multinational retail players and sports apparel manufacturers. Decathlon has an aggressive expansion plan and will open stores in key metropolitan areas of the country. It is estimated that the company will open 50 stores by the end of 2016. Centaur, the leader of sportswear retail, had 30% of its stocks acquired by GP Investimentos which shows that the company intends to finance other investments in the near future. Nike has been closely, looking closely at Brazil and aims to increase the number of sponsorships for popular soccer clubs in medium-sized cities. Sportswear companies show that successful sports teams and soccer players in Latin America lead to an increase in demand for those products. So the sportswear market in the region takes advantage of these circumstantial events to grow above their limits, enhancing brand positioning in the lower and middle classes, where there is more room to grow.